Netflix's Wednesday has been enjoying huge success and has added more to the Addams Family franchise. As a series, it was clear Wednesday understood its past as it seamlessly integrated Addams Family history throughout the first season without it feeling out of place or like fan service. There are plenty of Easter eggs to keep Addams Family enthusiasts excited about the series' future. Within the Netflix show, there are several nods, references, and hidden details that call back to the past Addams Family projects. Kicking off the first episode with a major reference to the Addams Family, Wednesday's audience meets Pudsley in an all-too-familiar position. Wednesday finds Pudsley in their school lockers tied up in rope with an apple in his mouth, so Wednesday takes it upon herself to exact revenge on the bullies who did this to him. With a slight change to the circumstances, Wednesday shows what happens when anyone except her tortures Pudsley. In the original Adams Family film, Wednesday is responsible for Pudsley being tied up with an apple in his mouth because she wants to shoot the apple out of his mouth with a crossbow. Not only does Wednesday's residence in Ophelia Hall remind viewers of Morticia Adams' sister, Ophelia Frump, but her dynamic with her roommate further reinforces this connection. Enid Sinclair's cheery and colorful demeanor contrasting Wednesday felt familiar to fans of the Adams Family television series. Enid's optimism felt vital to Wednesday's story, with some even arguing that Enid was the real main character. Enid's place in Aunt Ophelia's namesake building only feels more fitting when looking at how the bubbly blonde is closer to normal due to her struggle with wolfing out. In Enid and Wednesday, Morticia and Ophelia's dynamic can't help but come to mind in some way. Wednesday stands out as one of the best dark comedy series because the main character is so deadpan. One of these standout moments is when she's helping Tyler Galpin fix the broken espresso machine. Wednesday casually mentions she understands how they work after her experience creating a steam-powered guillotine to decapitate her dolls more efficiently. I built it when I was 10. I wanted to decapitate my dolls more efficiently. This comment reminds fans of past Adams Family live-action iterations where Wednesday carried a headless doll that she decapitated herself. One major praise of Wednesday is how it referenced the beloved Adams Family theme song without using the song itself. There are the two snaps to enter the Nightshade's headquarters. Also, Wednesday and Tyler use the theme's lyrics in a conversation, so Adams Family fans can't help but smile. When Tyler thinks he's figured Wednesday out at the fair, he tells her, You're not scary. You're just kind of kooky. You're not scary. You're just kind of kooky. I prefer spooky. Oh. This directly refers to the opening lyrics describing the Adams family. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. When Wednesday is forced to join an extracurricular activity by Nevermore Academy's principal Weems, viewers follow her as she tries choir and archery before she lands on beekeeping with Eugene. However, Wednesday's time in the archery club is a major link to Adam's family values. In the film, Pugsley and Wednesday are forced into the classic summer camp activity. Pugsley manages to shoot an American bald eagle. It's an American bald eagle! But aren't they extinct? They are now. Some archery skills from that film transferred to Wednesday in the Netflix show. She casually tosses an apple into the air before shooting her arrow and expertly hitting the target, much to Xavier's surprise. Throw bigger stones. At least I'm not an elitist snob. After Wednesday assures Tyler that she knows her way around the outdoors, he jokes about her not telling him she was a Girl Scout. When Wednesday responds with I could eat Girl Scouts for breakfast, Adam's family fans can't help but recall an iconic scene in the film between her, Pugsley, and a Girl Scout. In the film, Pugsley and Wednesday open a lemonade stand where the Girl Scout asks if it's made of real lemons because she only eats and drinks all natural things. When a deal is offered for a cup of lemonade in exchange for a box of Girl Scout cookies, Wednesday asks whether they're made of real Girl Scouts. I'll tell you what, I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Do we have a deal? Are they made from real Girl Scouts? Wednesday isn't afraid to call out people who refuse to acknowledge the crimes committed against indigenous people. 
rather than promoting Pilgrim World's chocolate, Wednesday exposed them for misrepresentation. She then made the Joseph Crackstone statue catch fire in the town center, all while perfectly playing her cello. Wednesday's actions and performance are reminiscent of her part in the Thanksgiving play during Adam's Family Values. On stage, Wednesday calls out pilgrims for mistreating indigenous people right before she sets the stage ablaze, causing mass panic at camp. Huh? Becky, what's going on? Wednesday! You have taken the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims, especially Sarah Miller. Gary, she's changing the words. And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground. Children, can't stop it! You're destroying my tents! Wednesday heads to the center of the dance floor with Tyler at the Raven dance when Goo Goo Muck starts playing, in what may be a surprise to casual Adam's family viewers, Wednesday starts to dance. Wednesday being a strong dancer is a new, Jenna Ortega took inspiration from some choreography in the Adam's family television series when Wednesday teaches Lurch to dance, the specific move Wednesday taught Lurch, the droop, makes its appearance at the Raven. <laughs> 